international trade is one of the oldest professions in the world and it's one of the least recognized. It, uh, it is a profession because it really focuses on the individual. It's looking at international trade through the human resource lens. It's an interesting story. I met our founding father, Dieter Hallwick, uh, at a workshop that was uh, taking place in the basement of a church. Almost every Sunday morning, we would meet at the Ottawa bagel shop and Dieter would discuss how it was going with this thing called FIT. I've always been interested in international business. Uh, when I went back to university as a mature student, I looked specifically for international business courses, but all I could find was international politics or international uh, development. Nothing on how to do international trade or importing or exporting. As complicated and complex as it is, you can't just wing it. You can't, like, you, it needs to be a professional practice. It's an art. It needs to be studied. So going at it alone is something that I think a lot of entrepreneurs feel that they have to do because nobody understands their idea, nobody gets their vision. The costs of pursuing international trade and not being fully knowledgeable can be extremely expensive. We lost thousands, we lost time, and we lost momentum on what we thought was about to be a good move. I mean, in so many cases, you don't know what you don't know. And I think that's from what I learned about FIT was just to question everything. There are so many layers and each layer has within it fatal traps that are, are not obvious. Or they are obvious to a skilled, experienced practitioner but they're not obvious to an amateur. In, in this incredibly intense environment in which we're all living now, oh, it becomes harder and harder for Canadian businesses to mitigate the risks out there. So we did a lot of research, um, found out that there was nothing like this in the world, and uh, so that's always a little scary because when you're leading edge, if there's nothing like this in the world, is there actual demand or is it just, just here? FIT, in my own words, equips professionals entrepreneurs and people involved in business and commerce. It equips them with the right tools to do international business effectively. Um, so we did research. We did research among industry, the employers themselves, as well as our potential candidates for the CITP and the FIT Board of Directors looked at that research and knew that we had to establish international trade as a profession. Upskilling isn't something as a, co a company does at their workers, it does with their workers. It also shows the worker that you care, you want to invest in them, and that their welfare and knowledge um, is very important to you. Things like um, culture come into play, language, currency exchange. These are all things that it's like, oh, but I just want to make graphics and make cool copy. And so it, it really gave some more meat to my uh, limited understanding. I mean, it is not getting any easier to do international trade. If anything, good grief in the circumstances we find ourselves today there's so little predictability. It makes 1991 and 92 look like the good old days. The CITP, when FIT launched the CITP, we were the first country in the world that actually looked at international trade as a profession. And that was back in 1998. You want this professional designation because it's well, well recognized. It's, um, you're gonna meet all these, these great people. It's a good community. And it's not until you kind of learn about this, whether it's a community network, whether it's a, an industry network, or even a global network, that you start to realize, oh my goodness, there's help. The, the, the frontier of knowledge needs to continue to be advanced. You cannot do that unless there is an organization that is dedicated to recognizing that and trying to figure out how to make trade work. There's so many times you're in that basement, you're in that co-working space, you're in that office, you're in that cafe, just plugging away at your business, and people don't know how much you do or what you do. Having that designation to say, or to throw up on your LinkedIn to say, hey, like I'm a certified international trade professional. I'll take that. Because we need to import successfully to export. Has got to be nimble. Got to be ready to pivot on a dime. Everything that FIT has to offer is uh, beneficial 
um, whether you're seasoned or whether you're starting on an export journey. Business is an adventure because, I mean, when you think about it, up and down and all around, and today it's great and tomorrow it's terrible, and then this happens and then that happens and then there's this huge success. It's just like, it's so unpredictable. It has developed uh, a significant alumni that is very proud of FIT that reinforces its future growth. I don't think I would have had that, you know, they call it sort of executive level thinking, but specific to international trade had I not taken the training. Companies don't trade, it's individuals that make this trade happen. Well, unless you're equipped with the knowledge that FIT can provide, how in God's name can you possibly navigate the circumstances of today?